day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, I have mentioned before the tinkering with Tinkercad group on Facebook. Absolutely love it because I see cool questions like this. Friends, this user is working with Illustrator and making cool stuff, not getting the results they want. Now, I don't use Illustrator, but I do use Inkscape. Let's see if we can find a solution. So first, the user has created this by hand, and it's pretty epic. I'm not going to take the time to create it. What I have done is I've done a screenshot, and now I have opened Inkscape. If you've never used it before, it is totally free, and it's pretty darn epic. Right now I've got it loaded with a Glowforge template. I'm going to switch. I'm going to choose new from template and I'm just going to use a generic canvas. Once it loads, I want to zoom in. Now your scroll wheel see goes up and down. If you hold control and scroll wheel, it lets you zoom in. Now these guidelines likely won't be on yours. Those are just mine from once again using the Glowforge. I'm going to clean that up real quick. If we just do edit and delete all guides, boom, I've got the clean page I wanted. Now let's do file and let's choose import. I always save everything to my downloads folder. And this is it with a silly name. And I didn't even name it because I'm just doing it for fun. So it's going to import this. I'm going to do from file, no rendering. I'm going to choose embed. And I'm going to just simply tell it OK. I'm going to grab and drag it over to my screen. And then I'm going to find the trace bitmap. Now I had this tool launched because I was using it earlier. If you need to find it via the menus, it is right here under path and trace bitmap. As you can see right now under the preview, it is not real good, but watch this. If we just adjust the threshold, bingo, we can start getting all of our lines connected. When we're happy, we simply hit apply, and all of a sudden, we will have a traced image of what was brought in. So I'm going to click on that one, and I'm going to hit delete, and let me show you what this did for us. All right, friends, so this is where it gets cool. We've got one shape, but if we do path and we do break apart, bingo, we've got all the separate pieces. Now right now they're filled with black, so that's why it looks filled in. If I select everything and go down here to fill, and I left click blank, it will have no fill. Now I do want the outlines, so I'm going to right click, and I'm gonna set the stroke to black. Now if we zoom in with that control zoom, you can see that we've got the inside and the outside of our entire project. Now, I don't want that inside, and I'm going to right-click on that one, and I'm going to choose Lock. So now I can't get rid of it. Now, this one on the inside, I do not want that line, so I'm going to just move it away and hit Delete. I do not want the double dots. You could do this if you wanted. Once again, I'm doing control to zoom in and make sure I'm selecting the one I want. Simply hitting delete and getting rid of those. Got rid of the wrong one, so I'm going to do control Z. That's the right one. I'm going to scroll up with the mouse wheel. I do want the separate chunks for the scarf. I think that's going to turn out really cool. I don't want this separate face piece, so I'm going to delete that. And friends, I'm going to play with the rest from there. So first, I'm going to hold control and zoom out so you can see everything we've created. We've got an outline and we've got the cool details. So the next part of this project goes like this. Friends, here is where it gets super cool. I need you to click on layer and bring up the layers and objects. Click on your path that is at the bottom. So notice I clicked and it told me that is the one I want. We're going to choose file and we're going to choose export. We do need to make sure we switch it to a plain SVG. I'm going to call this Snowman Outline. And even make it faster by just doing Out. And I'm going to hit Export. And I save mine in my Downloads folder. Friends, we simply go back to our Layers option. And we're going to take this one and we're going to hide it. And now we can grab everything else. So we've got all the paths up above. Once again, we're going to do File Export. I've already got the downloads folder selected and once again it's an SVG file. We're going to call it inside. I'm going to just put INS and hit export. Just like that we've got our two files. Let me go to Tinkercad and show you how this all works. Of course if you've never used Tinkercad before I always choose sign in with Google. We're going to click down here on designs. Yours will probably do that automatically. Create and we're going to do new 3D design. 
Now the first thing you should do is probably put your file name. Mine is going to be snowman and I'm going to add fun after it. And then we're going to simply go over here to import, choose a file. And let's start with the snowman outside. When we hit import, we want it to be just the art. Notice it goes to this small area and we are going to hit import. Notice he came in. He looks wicked cool, but he's huge. I am going to hit delete on that and let's do this again and let's choose a smart scale first. Once again, choose file. We're going to grab the snowman outside. Still going to choose art. This time we're going to scale it automatically. Now I'm teaching you this because we've got two parts and because we scale it here, it'll be super simple to scale the other one to match it as well. Bingo. There is our cool outline. I'm going to do control D. I'm going to move this across. Let me show you why. First, I don't know what we're making, but I'm choosing to make a fancy keychain. I'm going to make this one millimeter thick. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it right on top by clicking the work plane, clicking right there. I'm going to do D to drop. And then I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground just so the screen looks more clear. Let's change the color just for fun. Make this look a little more fancy. Way out there in the crazy pinks. Select the two. Choose a line. I'm going to make this one the boss, and I want middle and middle. I'm going to click on this second one, and I'm going to swap the fill modes to outer line. I'm going to make the line width 1 and press enter. I'm going to make the corners round, and I'm going to bump up the quality. And check it out. That would be some sort of fun cookie cutter. Get it to whatever height you want, and bingo, that's your outline. Here comes the fun stuff, friends. Import. Choose File. This time, get the second part, the inside of our project. Choose Open. Pick the art. Pick the same scale. Hit Import. And after a moment, check it out. Your cool details. How fun is that? If we slide them in place, notice they fit absolutely perfect. You can change your height make them another cool color i'm gonna go back to the presets and this time i'm gonna do a purple and that is our fun snowman project if you wanted more colors all you'd have to do is return to inkscape or illustrator or whichever you're using and just export more selected shapes you could have as many cool pieces as you want they would all line up absolutely perfectly because you're exporting from the same spot it's a super fun technique, just takes a little bit of time. If you wanted to make this a keychain for maybe one of those fancy new 3D printers that does all the colors, I would just make a keychain hole. I always made mine size 5. I'm going to use my arrow keys to nudge it in. I do need to make that taller so it cuts out. And then when I group that with a quick Control G, we have got a keychain design ready for 3D printing. How fun is that? I would probably take mine down to about three millimeters thick. If you want to see those colors just because it's more cool, you can click on multicolor just like that. In my classroom, I also had a rule that I never did keychains bigger than seven centimeters. I'm going to squeeze this down by just holding shift and shrinking it. And I'm going to make that say 65 and enter. I always chose this for the classroom because those would print in about 30 to 40 minutes. Now, friends, when you make something wicked cool in Tinkercad, don't forget you can always do this. You can set a cool background color. I'm going to make mine this little blue right here. You can also get rid of the grid, so when you close the settings, it's a cooler view. And then, friends, if you click back on the Tinkercad button, your design will be in the workplace. This is saved just for you. Of course, you can also click on the properties. I'm going to call mine Snowman Inkscape or Illustrator Tutorial. Of course, in the description, we've got that tutorial coming soon and other ways you can reach me. I have added some tags that help you search for it. Don't forget, if you want to show me what you created, if you type HLMT23, I search that tag almost every day. And of course, I'll give you a reaction. Finally, you do need to make it public. And then I always choose attribution, no derivatives, because I want you to come up here, follow that tutorial, and gain some epic skills. 
you can wrap up by proving you're not a robot and hitting save changes. Just because I think this is the coolest thing ever, let's click up on that gallery. Of course, the first thing you see are all the awesome staff favorites. It is always cool to click on them and make sure you give them a reaction. There are so many cool ones up here. That is a fantastic idea. And of course, if you ever spot one of mine, there will be a tutorial available. And of course, those reactions are appreciated. One of my favorite things, though, is to shut off staff picks and click over here on this grid so we can see more amazing designs. It is amazing how many are getting posted. Check it out. We have to go all the way down here to find my fun project. Friends, I do also want to remind you, these reactions are appreciated. Holy cow, that came quick. Of course, I'm going to return the favor and give some reactions as well. Absolutely love the cat with the bow. That is fantastic. Let's see what else we got here. This is a very cool desk. I'm going to give it a like as well. I'm going to pick this little guy right here. That is such a fun creation. I do want to take a moment to remind you as well about notifications. This is how you can find out who liked and copied your designs. This one absolutely makes my day. Because the golden rule of Tinkercad is to give a reaction before you copy. Of course, if you do that, I will check out your designs. Oh my gosh, Tutuno, this makes my day. This is my tutorial, and check it out. There is a thanks inside it. Oh my gosh, I'm going to give that a wow. Don't forget, you can also click view in 3D. And after a moment, the design loads. You can zoom in and check it out from every angle. Tutuno, that is awesome. Even cooler, we've got other versions. That is fantastic. And we've got another epic car. Awesome job. And once again... Thanks for giving me a reaction so I can see your cool designs. As I wrap up once again, really appreciate the question on Facebook. Absolutely awesome project, and I do also want to highly recommend the group Tinkering with Tinkercad. Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories, and then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.